thank you everybody for following along. We've only got a couple episodes out, but we're getting a lot of great responses and some dedicated followers and supporters even. We're going to get ready for our trip to Grenada. We've got to get out of the hurricane zone. Hurricanes are coming and we don't want to be here. So uh, we've got some repairs to do, some provisioning, uh, last minute upgrades, things like that. And we also want to get the boat up to Marigo uh, on the north side of the island just to uh, experience some of the turquoise water that's up there and uh, French pastries, of course. But while I got you, like and subscribe. Got to say it. It really is a huge thing, especially for a new channel like ours. So thanks again, and I hope you enjoy the episode this week. Welcome to Sailing Momentum. Have you felt like there's something bigger calling you, but you are too tied up in the day-to-day -to, -day to change anything? Some force pushing you, but not where you want to go? You can't stop that force, but you can change its direction. It's been just eight months since we made the decision to leave our conventional lifestyles on land. We had no idea what life in the Caribbean would bring. We had no idea if we could pull this off with kids. But now, with just four months on the water, we feel like we've been doing this forever. So welcome aboard as we learn to work as a family and crew on Sailing Vessel Momentum. All right, currently we're here in St. Martin, and we need to sail 450 miles or so here to Grenada. We have two options to get there, either straight down or island hop. But why do we need to get there? Hurricanes. There's an area in the Caribbean known as the Hurricane Box. It's a no-coverage zone for insurance policies, so if something happens to the boat in this area from a named storm, there is no coverage on the boat. In order for us to get out of it, we need to get below 12 degrees north, and we're not alone. Hundreds of cruisers seek safe harbor in Grenada during the hurricane season every year from July to December, so there's a huge network of resources. But before we go, we got a lot of work to do. Hudson, bigger smile. There you go. That's cute. All right. I gotta check the anchor chain, but I have to change. Daddy, take him away. He smells. He smells. Jake, I wouldn't be pulling on him with poop in his diaper. Stop. You think you're so funny? Oh no! <laughs> Oh no! Oh! I went right on the face. <laughs> we all. Ah! That's it. That's stinky. Yuck! Yuck! Oh. I said no. Smiles. Trying to get everything ready to go still, and one thing I had to go through is the anchor chain. I was going through it, and it looked pretty rusty, so just wanted to double check that we haven't lost too much material on it and that it looks good. So to check the chain, you just want to remove all the excess material, look for any dark spots which could signify some hidden cracks. You want to measure the meat of the chain after all that rust is removed and compare it with the original sizing. You want to make sure there's no more than 10% loss, especially at each end of the chain where the links wear on each other, to determine if the chain is weakened. This looks okay, so it's time to get more chain for a second anchor. Everywhere you look, there are remnants of hurricanes, reminding us just why we need to get out of here. So we rented a car today and we are going to go attempt to get groceries.
we got a rental car to help with this. They didn't give us a very big one. They gave us like a little Mazda 3. So. How you doing in here? Let me see. You doing, you gonna live? You gonna make it to the boat? How we doing? Why not? Cause you're hungry? You're always hungry. Why? You don't know why? Do we need to stop and get food? Do we have any food? Too much food? All right, well I'll get you guys to the boat. We gotta pack all this stuff to the boat and then we can have some lunch. And then Hudson goes down for a nap. Okay. Sure is. What do you get? Every day is a weekend for you. What are you talking about? You have to take that off to put your vest on. Come on, bud. Are you a little monkey? Did you steal a banana? Come on. Come on. No. No. Don't fall asleep. Wake up. Wake up. We gotta go to the boat. Yes, we gotta go to the boat. Yep. Boat. Come on. Boat. Now that we've got all the food in the skiff, now the challenge is to get it up the boat. Shouldn't be too bad. It's not too windy right now. There's enough room in that skiff for all of us? No way. We're going super fast. Start the engine. Come on. Um, what are we gonna do, Hudson? I'm serious. Um, no, that's actually kind of an issue. What? That's not funny, buddy. There goes the boat. At least we have food if we wash up on the. Yeah. On the Maybe, do you want to swim? You said you wanted to swim. Well, yeah, but not in my clothes. 
Well, how are we gonna get to the boat? Um, Here, do you have a sail? Yeah. Hold your shirt out. The oh. window blows right there. Come on. Might be time for a new motor. Oh. Woo! That was I mean, scary. At least we're drifting that way if it couldn't start. Alright, to the boat. Oh no! Hold it just like that. Hudson, you stay put. Press the red button. There you go. Good job. Damn. Now I got the boat somewhat secure. On the counter, buddy. Come on, help me put her on the counter. We gotta get this. Oh no! Me with the rice. Get it on the counter, buddy. Good. Oh no! I hope that bag doesn't pop open. All right, get it. Quick, pick it up. Oh, it's so strong. No. All right, I'll help you, okay? Here's another pineapple. Can you, whoa, can you put that on the counter? No! No, put it. You're going to ruin the pineapples. All right, can you put... Here, put on the oil on the counter. Oh. Scrub. Just a little Thanks water. for watching to the very end. Next time on Sailing Momentum. We finally make it out on passage to the clear blue waters of Marigo where we spot a killer surf shop. Melissa gets to take care of her fear of heights while I tackle large boat projects. And we finally answer that question that everybody seems to ask. 